So it's Dr. T. I'm back in the laser suite, although today I should call it the injection suite because we are going to be doing some injections of the neuromodulators, Botox, Discord, Xeomin, as well as filler injections. And these would include the Juvederm family as well as the Restylane family or the fillers. Now, the difference um, from my patients in Washington compared to, say, L.A. or Miami or New York is that everybody wants more of a natural look. They don't want everybody to know that they've had these injections injections done. Um, so we kind of go and, uh, slowly. We can always add more rather than worrying about taking it out. Otherwise I get those uh, midnight emails saying, you know, my lips are too swollen. What can you do for me right now? These are emergency emails I get usually at 2 a.m. on a Saturday morning uh, when people are coming back from their dinner obligations and they look in the mirror and they see that something they don't like. So we like to take it slow and steady here. Um, I have uh, my patient who is lovely. They don't think that she needs anything. We're going to go over with her the areas that she's most concerned about and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so hi. hi. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I know we've done this before and we have usual things that we like to do, but what have you noticed recently um, that you would like to have treated? Well, I think I needed Botox. I'm seeing more small lines around my crow's uh -huh. feet and forehead. I'm making my eyebrows. Okay. And maybe to get some lip injection for the holidays. It just yeah, we're wearing the right color. color. So why don't we hold up the mirror and look at the places together and determine a plan, okay? So I would like you to frown for me. Okay, so you have a little bit of movement here in your corrugated muscles. I want you to raise your brow, okay? And again, across here. We don't want to do too much because I don't want to bring your brow down. That would not be the heavy look that we're looking for, particularly around the holidays. I want you to smile big. So you don't have that much going on here, but maybe a little bit in the crow's feet and frown again really hard. I'm looking just to see if you have any buddies and you don't. I think you're okay there. So okay. I'm going to concentrate here in your glabella region um, where your frown is and then in your brow a little bit around your eyes and I want you to um, clench your teeth really hard and let's do a teeny bit here in your platysmal bands. That helps to bring the neck up a little bit. Now you look really good and I know that you like a little bit of juiciness in your lips and one of your lips is just marginally smaller than the other. So okay. we're going to go ahead. Yeah, remember you had that car accident a long time ago. Nobody would know that unless we pointed mm -hmm. it out to them. But let's go ahead and we'll do a little bit along the border here. And when we do that, then we start paying attention to the other areas. So I'm going to put it all the way around, but focusing more with getting that right upper lip uh, a little bit. So what I like to do is to hold some ice on the area where we're going to inject first. That does two things. Number one, it causes vasoconstriction, so there won't be as much bleeding. It lets the patient know where I'm going. It also helps anesthetize a little bit more. She's had some numbing cream on the area, but this is a very delicate area. So we're going to get started right here at the count of three. I like to hold the skin taut. I'm going to go ahead here. One, two, three. Hang in there. I know that hurts. You're doing great. You're going to feel a little bit of stinging. She's a master. She doesn't move an inch. Okay, good job. Perfect. That was the worst one. It's getting started there. Now what I'm going to do is finish up the rest of the top lip here. Perfect. Good. You okay? Okay, I'm going to do a little bit down below here. And then I'm going to switch sides. Hang in there with me. Good job. I like to just go right along that vermilion border. So we're going to go ahead and go to the other side. Hang in there. One, two, three. Good job. Amazing. We just fill that in right along the vermilion there. I'm going to do another one out to the side. You're doing super. Hang in there. And then we're going to go below. Perfect. She's going to have a pretty little pout there for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Kissing people under the mistletoe. One, two, three. Good job. Oh, I hate this one right on the lower lip. That one. That one hurts the most, but look at her. She's amazing. Okay. So we're all done with the lips. I think they look good. They're symmetric. We added a little bit more volume at the top here. And with this product, you may notice a little bit more swelling tomorrow morning. So don't panic. It will go down many times. I know that you like the extra swelling. We can always add more if you want, but give it a full week for things to settle down. Okay? okay. Now let's go ahead and do a little bit of Botox and Dysport in the brow. Okay? To start around the eyes when I use Botox and Dysport. In this case, Dysport, because I don't have to use as many injections. The reason why I like to start around the eyes is that the needle is sharpest at that time um, and you really this is a delicate eye area so I always uh, vasoconstrict and let people know where I'm going with the uh, ice first and then let's do a little injection here one two three good job 
perfect. You okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have you frown for me, be me. Now relax. I like to go into the three main belly uh, muscles. We have the uh, procerus right here in the center. And then we do each of the two corrugators on the side here. Perfect. And in her case, because she really does have a tendency to frown a lot using her lateral corrugators, we're going to have her frown again. You see how she pulls in from there? So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit there. Go ahead and again and frown again. Now relax. I like to go right in that lateral, keeping it at least one centimeter above the um, edge of the brow. Um, go ahead and frown again. Now relax. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then last but not least, I want you to raise your brow. I want to see how much movement there is across our front talus. Now relax. I like to go right in the center here. And again, keeping it well above the brow, just a smidge on either side of her front talus. And that helps to minimize the frownies. Um, the lateral canthi, canthal areas as well across the brow. Now we have a little bit of uh, toxin left and what we're going to do is um, treat her platysmal bands. I want you to grit your teeth really hard, punch. These are these bands that actually, as we age, they end up pulling down the skin uh, around the mandible and under the chin. So what I want to do is relax that so I'll help to bring it up. I'm going to have you put your head on back here. This is an area that doesn't hurt at all. She doesn't even have gummy cream on this area. I'm going to go ahead and put it right in the middle of the belly here, just a couple units. Just march down the platysmal band here. Okay, relax for a second. We're going to go to the other side. Here we go. I'm just going to grab that platysmal band and we're just going to march down in about one and a half centimeter increments. We'll put in a couple units. All done here. Congratulations. We're all done. Thank you. So all right. Much.